What's up, LTD addicts? Dave here, back with another lifetime deal review. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a tool designed to help you upgrade your Facebook or Instagram ad game. Before we get into the details of that, I need to let you know that it's currently Sumo Days, which is one of the only sales that AppSumo runs all year round. You can get 10% off of almost everything on the marketplace. They're giving away a Tesla Cybertruck. You can enter at no cost. Definitely check the link in the description. And if you win that Cybertruck, you're one of my viewers, leave me a comment. I wanna know about it, that's amazing. Then uh, they also have 14 tools that are being brought back. So it's kind of like a last call scenario. If you have, uh, let's say active pieces from last year, the tool of the year, you wanna upgrade your plan there, that's coming back. There are six brand new deals, including one new freebie. So just tons of stuff going on for Sumo Days. It runs from June 9th until June 13th at noon central time. So it's available right now. Go ahead and check it out again with the link in the description. My thanks to AppSumo for their consistent support of this channel, it's greatly appreciated. Now today's product that I'm gonna be reviewing for you is actually part of Sumo Days. This is called AdNova. And like I mentioned in the intro, it's designed to help you upgrade your Facebook or Instagram ad game. Let me show you how it works. So this is AdNova. I'm gonna give you kind of a high level overview and then we'll dig a little deeper into the product. So there's essentially three sections here. We've got inspirations, which is a lot like the Facebook ad manager, and I'll compare and contrast those in a moment. We've got detective, which is my personal favorite. This section is amazing. We'll get into that in a moment as well. And then there's the drive section, which allows you to collaborate with your clients, your copywriter, your designer, and plan out your entire next ad campaign. Now this product can work great if you're just a solo entrepreneur with maybe one or two businesses, but I think where it really shines is for agencies that work with a lot of different clients. There's the concept of workspaces built right into AdNova. I've got two workspaces on my account right now. This one here is called Client Amp, and if I click below it, I've got that LTD life. If I wanna add another workspace, I can click this plus button right here and go ahead and just create a brand new workspace. Every workspace has workspace settings where I can set up exactly what I need to organize that particular client's ads upload a logo, add your team members, add any custom fields or tags you need for organization, and then there's notifications you can turn on. Here are the plans and pricing from AppSumo. You're gonna notice that the tier one deal gives you just five workspaces, the tier two deal gives you 20 workspaces or AKA clients, right? And then the tier three is where you wanna be if you're a big agency, that's gonna be unlimited workspaces and unlimited users. I do wanna call out that with tier two and tier three, you can completely white label this platform, adding your own custom domain, adding your own branding and your own colors. I know that's important to a lot of people out there. There's a couple more bullet points here and we'll go through all of them by the end of this video. All right, let's go a little deeper into AdNova and I'll show you what it can actually do. There are these three sections up here. So inspirations, like I mentioned, is very similar to the Facebook ad manager. However, I feel like this is the most disappointing part of the entire tool because Inspirations is not searching the ad manager directly. Instead, they seem to be scraping the content from ad manager, which means you never have quite everything available and some of the information is not really exactly what you're looking for. Like for example, if I search for plumber here, it's really great in theory because it allows me to search for ad copy that contains plumber or brands that contain plumber. So let's say I search for ad copy that contains plumber Personally, I'd hope to actually get some ads for plumbers here, but I don't. Instead, it seems to be pretty irrelevant. There's a product called Tushy, which seems to advertise a lot. And instead of showing me just like one of their ads, instead I get like page after page of Tushy ads. I'm actually kind of okay with the fact that this discover section kind of stinks because AdNova built an integration into the Facebook ad library directly in the form of a Chrome extension. So this is the Meta Ad Library. If you've never heard of this before, it's a great resource. It's totally free, it's independent of AdNova. You can use this without buying anything. You just go over to the URL, I'll link to this down below as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and just search for an ad category. I'm looking in the United States specifically. And let's look up, how about plumbers? And now I get a lot of results that in my opinion are a lot more relevant than what I was getting over at AdNova. For one, these are actually plumbers. And for two, these are localized to the United States. With AdNova, I get stuff from all over the world, even in different languages. But don't worry about that because here is the Chrome extension. I'm gonna click right here to install it. This is what the extension page looks like. It's now enabled on my browser. 
And back over in the meta ad library, if I just reload my page, I get this new button that says save to ad Nova. So the idea here, if it's not clear, is we maybe take on a new client. We wanna investigate the niche and understand how people are advertising successfully on Facebook or Instagram. Well, I can see what ads are currently running. And if I really like one, maybe it's got great copy or a great image, I just click the button right here. I can save it to a board inside of AdNova. So right now it's gonna list all of my clients. I'm gonna add this one to, how about the client amp sample board? And I'll hit save to AdNova. Then back over in AdNova, again in my inspiration section, I'm going to have my sample board down here and there is my saved ad. Now what's really cool about this is I've now pulled in all of this information. It's saved, it's never gonna go away. I can click on the ad details here. I get the ad copy, I get the landing page, I get the image saved. I can even annotate it so I can have a conversation about it with my client or my designer. So I've left a comment here. I can go ahead and submit that. And we can talk about this ad right over here inside of the AdNova platform. So if you're just in the early stage of planning out your ads, this tool is absolutely amazing because you can go through and maybe pull in a bunch of example ads of different styles and show clients, hey, what do you think of this type of advertising? What do you think of this type of advertising? I can see that this is working because it's been running for a really long time. You know, you can really get granular and there's no confusion. There's no long email threads or annoying Slack notifications where you're trying to figure out who's replying to what. It's all very clearly organized and labeled here right inside of AdNova. By the way, there is more. So this is the comment section right here. If I go down to the little I right here, I can see more information about this specific ad. It was created May 8th. It's an image, obviously. Here is the ad ID if I wanna go ahead and research it further. It's currently running on both Facebook and Instagram. And then I can add some tags down here if I wanted to maybe remember what this was like. I created a new tag called icon. It's now applied to this particular ad. I can mark this as a favorite. I can share it if I wanna share a link directly to this, allow people to download and comment it, set a password if you wanna make sure this is a private conversation. You can have it expire at some point and just go ahead and hit generate link here. I can copy this, fire it off to my designer, my copywriter, my client, and we can start discussing the ad. So while I feel like the discover section of the inspiration part of this tool falls a little bit short, the integration with the ad library makes it absolutely amazing. Now there's another part of inspiration over here, which is brands. Now this integrates very nicely with one of their other tools called Detective. So let's say I was looking up a specific brand. I don't know, how about Tony Robbins? All right, so there is Tony. I can click on him, see all of the ads that are currently inside of their tool, which in my opinion is not as good as going off to the ad library. But what's really great here is that I can click this button and add Tony Robbins to the detective part of the tool, which is right up here. Now, once you go into the detective tool, you're gonna get a ton of great insights. So the idea here is that you're gonna find maybe the more successful brands in the niche that you're trying to advertise in, and then you can really see what they're doing at a very detailed level. So for example, Tony Robbins has 2,609 different creatives on Facebook, but how many of them are currently active? Just 184 of them. And what is the split? Well, out of the 184 that are currently active, 83% of them are videos and only 16% are images. And there's a word cloud for all of the words that Tony is using in his copy. Obviously, if you're a brand like Tony Robbins, Tony is gonna be one of the first words that you use. So we see both Tony and Robbins used multiple times, but also life, business, want, unleash. This is a great way to get phrases that might just land the right way with your ideal clients. We can see the landing pages that Tony is using. So you can literally click right here and investigate his entire sales funnel. We can see what call to action text he's using, whether it's learn more, sign up, get offer, shop now. Clearly he has a preference for learn more that is by far used the most often. If you're a data nerd and if you're running ads, you really should be. There are a ton of other statistics here. You can really dig in and get very granular with the competition or maybe a particular advertiser that you're just trying to figure out how they're achieving their success. So inside of the detective, this is the creative strategy report. We can also go over to the creatives here, and this is very similar to the inspiration section, which I don't know if I showed you, but if you click on any of these ads, you can actually just save them to one of those boards like we saw with that Chrome extension. There's a little save ad to board drop down right here. 
Just choose the board that you wanna save it to and you're good to go. By the way, if you wanna skip the inspiration section completely and just go right into the detective, you definitely can. You don't have to start over here on brands. Just go over to detective, hit analyze brand, and then you can paste in a ad library URL right here. And they tell you exactly what to do to get that URL. So jumping over to the plans and pricing really quick, the other bullet point that I've not hit on yet is the amount of storage that you get. So with tier one, it's 25 gigs. With tier two, it's 100 gigs. And with tier three, it's a half terabyte, 500 gigabytes. Now, what does that storage do for you? Well, let's check it out. The last part of the tool is called Drive. This is where we can upload files and then have conversations about them with our teammates and our clients. So just like in Inspirations, how we could save our favorite ads and then open up the ad details, have little comments here, conversations with our team, annotate things. Well, we can do that with our own graphics as well. And that's what Drive is all about. So in the Drive section under Drive Boards, we can create boards for our clients' campaigns. I'll call this one New Campaign, hit Save. And from here, I can just upload my latest ad. I'll choose Upload File. All right, now I've uploaded an image, I can click on it. And from here, I can go ahead and start to annotate things, have a conversation with other people to collaborate on the image. So I'll click Annotate here, and then maybe I'll say Circle and hit Send. Then over here, we can see the comments. We can add any custom fields or tagging that we want on our images right here. After you give some feedback, maybe the design team goes back and does the revisions. They could upload those right here and we could sort through the different versions of the same ad right inside of the drive board. So you could see the progression as the ad improves with more and more feedback and additional revisions. So that is Ad Nova. I'm really impressed with this tool. I think it's gonna be a great fit for Facebook ad agencies that need to collaborate with clients, get that initial uh, conversation going, and then get the feedback on your creatives when they're ready for review. I think it'll also be great for small time entrepreneurs at only 59 bucks for a tier one. You can get a ton of value out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.1. I really like this tool. I think it's gonna be a great fit for anyone doing Facebook or Instagram ads. I'll drop my link in the description. If you've enjoyed this review, please consider clicking it. If you have any comments or questions, leave me them down below. I'll be checking them all week. Happy AppSumo week. My name is Dave. Thank you for watching. Hit like if you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next review.